Welcome to Thoughts on the Clearing, Season 1, Episode 4. This episode is called The Foundling. So, once again, spoilers for these four episodes. And, yeah, another episode I absolutely loved. So, we start, yeah, following up. You know, last time we saw the, the raid and the kids got freed. And now we see doctors checking the kids. And, you know, Anton tries to prevent Freya from telling the full truth. Now, at first I was thinking, why are why is Joe allowing the the why is yeah why isn't Joe having Anton removed like clearly he realizes that Anton has some influence over Freya ultimately I think it is artistic license because they want to make clear that even now that they're not in the the you know they've been they've been freed from the the family, but the the kindred, the you know, Anton still has a lot of influence over Freya, even though the you know they're no longer in that same place physically. And yeah, and and you know, we learn that. Or, or at least Freya learns Sarah didn't get home. The you know later in the episode we see Henry claim that he you know re repeat the claim that he put her you know on the on the doorstep of the house. But you know in the we we don't know. Actually, I guess was no no uh, we you know. Which is very very chilling realization, and yeah, I mean, if they're willing to kidnap children, you know, are they maybe more likely to kill the the children that don't work out than return them to their home where like, you know, I'm not not that all kidnappers are killers. Though, you know, kidnapping is already a heinous crime. And, you know, the, the, Joe points out the, the kids have the development of two-year-olds and all suffer from PTSD, which is, again, a very, very, that, yeah, that is something that happens if the, the, you know, it's, it's, you have to be extremely, um, it takes a lot to to make sure that a child goes through healthy development and yeah cults like the kindred don't even remotely they're not they're not even really trying to they don't want functioning adults you know functioning adults might challenge the the cult and yeah we see anton show up at freya's place and Anton is is very good with uh, Billy and ultimately we don't actually know exactly what did happen with Maxine just she apparently stood up Freya and didn't pick up the phone or call back so yeah there's some chance that Anton did something you know after yeah, after taking her out in, in the in the evening, or, you know, taking her out, I, I think you know what I mean. They, they went to a place and hung out together. And Billy refers to Anton as Uncle Anton. I just, I, again, I really appreciate how they're, they're exploring this incredibly twisted, like, because, I mean... I guess in a manner of speaking, he is Billy's uncle. He, you know, it, it does appear that both Anton and Freya were the the actual children, blood, blood relatives, yeah, 
genetically the children of I'm I'm not saying that adoption means that it's not that's just as legitimate but you know yeah it it seems like genetically they are her kids so yeah as as messed up as it seems and and it is like you know at first she's not sure if she should let Anton into the house you know it's that thing of does the dog bite depends on whether or not I tell him to because I mean they spent years together they spent years where they were like brother and sister and yeah there's there you know and and we do see later the the in this very episode that she had trouble relating to you know girls that weren't in the kindred when she went to a regular school she was sitting by herself not part of the friend group and yeah like she could probably you know there there were times where it seemed like, you know all family is difficult and complicated this is just you know it's a different kind of complicated but it's still so so yeah really appreciate that and and you know Anton thanking Freya for that was wow and and again like on some level she probably does but like would she do it if she didn't you know I, I don't know if she you know not everything we do means we want to be thanked for it but like hypothetically there's some element of we think this is something we should do so you know and and here's someone you know i can imagine adrian and bryce probably do not thank freya very much for what she's doing for adrian and yeah there's still some jealousy and sibling rivalry you know anton is saying you know i i helped too and i didn't get any money you know like on some level he's still more upset about that than he is about the years of abuse you know it's it's a like on some level he is still like a child being denied something that he knows he you know he deserves he's you know justifiably he has you know yeah and that's like that's very bare bones you know if he really is genetically Adrian's son yeah of course he should get some you know yeah some some money for just yeah and yeah and you know Freya is not does not like the idea of Anton staying and and Billy again you know he's just like oh finally there's someone here who's actually like playing with me and and you know and that's also you know when when Freya is calling Maxine before Anton shows up you know she can't get Billy to to stay outside when playing with the ball and just yeah it's and and again the way she speaks to him is not the best way to to talk to the, yeah and yeah and freya finally does tell billy that wayne is his father and at first he's not sure he wants to spend time with wayne and we we see at least one of the the kindred kids being reunited with their actual birth mother and like the kid you know doesn't feel any like and and to be fair that's not only a, a cult thing it is also just but i do think it works well the way that we see you know the the mother is just extremely happy to have her her baby home her, her daughter home but the the you know the, the little girl doesn't feel any you know she doesn't seem to think of the woman in front of her as her mother she's you know like she doesn't say it but i figure she's probably thinking no you're not adrienne is my mother what are you talking about and it is nice to see wayne and and bilbo 
playing together and very emotional when you know Anton and Freya are told they'll be wards of the state and Anton refuses to accept the idea that Adrian has forfeited custody and and you know we as viewers realize well yeah of course she would you know she's this is the the you know if something isn't working for her she cuts it off that's that's all even if you know apparently the her own flesh and blood and anton actually gets so angry that he attacks joe and you know it's very very it's it's such a relief that joe is like able to, you know he's he's willing to to you know he realizes this is not like it's not that Anton is just like dangerous to his surroundings. It's that if you tell him a harsh truth, you know there is some chance that he'll he'll get very angry. You know, it's the kind like a a word of the state attacking someone, especially a police officer, like that can go so badly. You know, like he could he could end up in in what's it called juvenile hall for for something like that but you know Joe is trying to be a good person and Bryce threatens Colin re revealing the clearing tapes if he speaks you know basically like Bryce never really turns off cult mode he's basically you know he speaks entirely in, like, sure, you know, if he's, like, got a lawyer by his side and he's trying to, he's talking to cops, he's going to be careful in what he says. But other than that, you know, he speaks in these, you know, he, he philosophizes instead of taking accountability. And, yeah, he's, he's frequently threatening people to toe the line. And we realize that Anton may be, you know, a kidnapper, but we do, you know, then we realize, oh, Carrie wasn't kidnapped, you know. And I I forget if I said this in one of the other videos I did on the show. In a way, I almost feel like if there isn't anything happening with the cult in the present day, if, if like, they're not trying to do something horrible that might almost hit harder than if they are because if they're not then Joe and Freya are still obsessing over something that like they're they're you know they're like dancing around a, a dead animal worried that it's gonna attack them you know no there's you know if there really is no danger if the cult is is completely with you know uh, what was the there was a, a really great quote on the I'll have it momentarily um, so they were called the family um, is this it uh, there we go um, <coughs> yeah the the Let's see. Yeah, one one of the members said that the group had eventually become a toothless tiger, you know. And and yeah, I I feel like that might actually be the most, you know, if if the if all these years later Freya is still as scared of them as she was when she was literally, you know. I uh, do we know how long I, I would guess let's see I mean based on well, oh right 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 Maxine is like a teenager has it maybe been like 20 years you know and to Freya it's like it was yesterday and that is like that's something a lot of people with PTSD deal with it's like the the you know they 
they might logically know, but like psychologically, it feels like they're you know they keep reliving the trauma. Now, let's see. And, you know, it is also, like, to return to the idea that maybe Anton is a kidnapper, maybe not. Yeah, like, if if the, you know, when, when someone goes missing, you know, people, you know, some not all the ideas for what happened are equally useful. You know, some, some people will jump to the idea of kidnapping and they'll talk about, oh, you know, Oh, there was this car, there was this person, and that doesn't always mean that something did actually happen, you know. That that it actually was a kidnapping. I mean, it might have been a runaway. And let's see. Yeah, and we see Freya with Joe's family, and, you know, she seems legitimately, like, the fact that she does, she, she seems, like, has she at all touched the food? I'm not sure she had, and, like, it is, of course, possible that, you know, maybe it's just not the kind of food she likes, but a lot of kids are gonna like just dig in like there's no tomorrow in that situation you know this is like she's finally getting enough to eat yeah as far as I could tell she hasn't touched the food at all she like cuz the the um, utensils are still next to the the plate because you know to her, it doesn't feel right. It feels like she's breaking the rules if she eats this. Like, logically, she might know better, but psychologically, in her head, like, if she takes one bite of this, out of this, you know, Tamsin is gonna burst into the room and say, what are you doing? And punish her, you know. And we get little details like the, the you know, she basically doesn't talk at all during the, the dinner and, you know, yeah, like, the, the mother trying, you know, are there any hobbies that, you know, is, it like, just stuff that you would expect a kid could answer, and it appears to me that the reason she doesn't answer is not that she can't come up with a good answer, like, there, um, let's see... Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Maybe, maybe she did not have. Well, yeah, like you know, some of the things that they had her do at the the kindred was like draw. You know, a lot of kids like drawing. Certainly, like if she says, "Yeah, I like to draw," you know that. Like a lot of a lot of kids are gonna be more. You know, even if it's just like, "Okay, get off my back." Sure, here's an answer. You know. But she just says nothing because to her this doesn't feel right. She's constantly thinking, you know, this is gonna, I'm gonna get, uh, you know, I'm gonna get punished. And it's very cute when, so let's see if I, uh, I think her name was Layla, the, the, um, the daughter of uh, Joe or, or Yusuf, uh, you know, she like sings along to this. 80s or 90s song and you know then she gives uh, uh, Freya a makeover you know it's it's very clear that there is like she does actually like Freya she is is trying to be a good and and Freya does even smile at the at the makeover and then we we you know hear that actually and and I think this might be true because I you know, what reason does she have to lie about this? It doesn't make her look good, you know. Anton asks Freya, "Why did you write that stuff in the, in the diary?" And Freya says, "Mom told me to. It would protect us, you know." 
and I I think it was I yeah what one of them points out it sure didn't protect us you know protected her sure you know so yeah and yeah it you know when when Carrie is found and we you know we get this because like we we thought okay this is it Anton is a kidnapper he took Carrie but then we find out that apparently she wasn't take you know the the police suspect no foul play I, I don't know why whether or not she played with birds matters in this but uh, let's drop that and move on you know it, it is this thing of like on some level we kind of hoped that yes Anton is you know actually still bad he's still doing awful things for kindred you know even though that's not you know that's not a good thing still but like at least it would be less confusing it would be less you know it's it's and that's the th that I some I really appreciate about this show it is very it it withholds catharsis very very aptly and I think that might also be something that some people really hate about and you know you're you're entitled to your opinion but I really appreciate you know we have so much media that's constantly giving us what we want and here's something that's saying well maybe he's not a kidnapper maybe it's you know and and yeah at the end of the day like okay he was filmed on a camera like they didn't see him with the kid they just saw him on camera near where the kid was taken you know that doesn't that's that's not conclusive evidence you know so so the yeah you know it's it's this thing of like we we i love media that makes us feel something confusing it's it's very very like there is some chance that you're going to alienate a lot of the audience when you do that so it's really taking a risk i really appreciate it you know yeah the the you know i i end up sitting here thinking wait i'm sorry did, did, am i am i hoping that there's a kidnapper am i hoping kidnapping is taking place like okay sure it's fiction but still like this is you know obviously in real life i don't ever want kidnapping to happen but but it's you know and and yeah you know the it it forces me to really do some soul searching or searching for soul and and the only answer i can, I can come up with is it it would there would at least be catharsis like you you get you know okay phew if he is a kidnapper if he is confirmed to be a kidnapper you know um follow him find the find the kidnapped kid or kids and put him in prison you know free free the kids put him in prison no more kidnapping but instead it's like you know like by the end of this episode maybe maybe the police got it wrong it is still possible that he's a kidnapper but there's some chance that that's just not the kind of you know maybe we don't get that maybe we won't get such a yeah and we see Henrik's confession which we have already been told was you know that was yeah they they talked about that earlier and you know it is the when when Freya is adopted like you know the the clearly and and you know we do know i got to say i do not remember the name but yeah you know this is the woman that we've seen identified as her her mother you know in an earlier episode freya said you're not my mother you know ref saying that adrian is her her real mother and yeah you know it is very clear that this woman does really care about freya and does want her to to have a good life you know she yeah she she gets you know yeah the 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 hair which has this kind of like a lot of people are going to look at that hair and think that's not there's something wrong there you know so it is probably good you know and she does seem to also be okay with it she's not like 
you know, some, some kids really hate having their hair cut and they'll be very difficult about it. And she's sitting there perfectly still as the, the hair is, is changed. But yeah, you know, she goes to school and she's she's alone. She's lonely. And then we end on Freya going to check the the house that the kindred were were in. And I mean, I suppose it's not 100%, you know, yeah, again, maybe we won't get the catharsis, but, you know, she, of course, goes to check, is there someone down in that, you know, cellar area, and there's, there's a, there's a teddy bear there, so it's like, I mean, that kind of implies that someone has been there recently, like, why on earth would the um, let's see. yeah there's a there's a teddy bear there's a there's a bottle uh what does that say lemonade and some some kind of snack food thing yeah yeah i unless she is hallucinating which we know she does sometimes there's been someone down there recently. There's been a kid. Oh, right, and there's uh, there's a mattress down there. So, yeah, just really, really scary. And yeah, I'm I'm really, really, I can hardly wait to to see what what happens next. And yeah, um, yeah, really, really loving this show. I'm really glad that I have access to this. Yeah. That's it for this one. Uh, let's see. That I will do a video Saturday, at least one video, possibly more than one. But yeah, that. With that said, I hope to catch you some other time.